Welcome to Time for Care, Public Partnership's electronic visit verification solution. To download the Time for Care app, go to the App or Google Play Store. Search for Time for Care. Then download and install the app. The next step is to log in or create a new account. If you have a Time for Care or Better Online account, log in with your existing username and password. You don't need to create a new one. If you have an existing account, enter your username. Then enter your password and tap Log In. If you're a new user and don't have a Public Partnerships account, you need to create one. You can sign up now. First, select your state, your program, and your role. Then enter your last name, your mailing zip code, and your social security number. Next, enter your email and create a username and password. Confirm your password. You will be asked to create three security questions. Your user account is now created. Return to the login screen and enter your username and password. In this segment, providers will learn how to view or edit submitted time. First, tap on the Hours screen to view or edit past entries. Completed shifts will be on your calendar. Each shift shows the time you started, time ended, who you worked for, and total time for your shift. Tap on any day to view past days of the week. Scroll to the left or right to view other weeks. Shifts worked on the day you selected will be shown. Total hours for the day display below the shift. If you worked for multiple members, you will see different colors for each. Tap on the colored shift to view details. The details page shows who you worked for and the service you provided. You'll see the status of the entry, date and time started and ended, and total time for the shift. Any tasks, activities, and notes recorded for the shift display below your time worked. If permitted in your program, tap on the pencil to edit start or end times. To edit or add activities, tasks, or notes, tap on the right arrow and make your changes. Submit your entry if you make any changes. And remember, any changes need to be reviewed by your member. In this segment, providers will learn how to clock in and out for a shift in real time. First, you must be on the hours screen to add time. Any shifts you've already worked display on the calendar. If this is your first shift of the day, no entries will be seen. To get started, tap Add Time. Select the member you're providing services for during your shift. And select the service you will be providing. You'll see a clock on the screen. Your current location is visible on the screen. If you're not at your expected location, the difference will be displayed. If you don't see your location, be sure you've enabled location services on your device and for time for care in your device settings. 
Your program may require that you turn on location services to be able to start your clock. To start your shift, tap on the orange Start Time button. Your shift will be added to the calendar showing the member you're working for and your running clock. During your shift, you can tap on your in-process entry at any time to view the details and your running clock. If your program needs you to enter activities or tasks for the services you're providing, you can do that during your shift. On the Details page, tap on Activities Tasks. Select the activities you performed during the shift. If you performed more than one, select each one. Once completed, tap on the back arrow in the upper left to return to your running clock. The tasks you selected are viewable. You can continue to add tasks during your shift as needed. Now you can tap on Notes. Type any notes you want to record for this shift and select Done. Once completed, tap on the back arrow in the upper left to return to your running clock. You can continue to add notes during your shift as needed. When you're ready to end your shift, go to your running clock and tap on the orange End Time button. Tapping the End Time button will stop your clock. You'll see a summary of your shift, including the time you started, the time you ended, total time worked, and any activities, tasks, and notes entered. If required in your program, you'll need to check an attestation box before submitting your entry. Once everything is complete, you can submit your entry by tapping the Submit button. Tapping the Submit button will send a notification to your member to review and approve your entry. Or if your member is available, you can tap Get Approval Now. If Get Approval Now is not available in your program, you will not see this button. You'll need to hand your device to your member so he or she can review your entry, enter identifying information, sign and approve. Your entry is approved on the spot and your member will not need to review later. In this segment, providers will learn how to enter time for a past shift. First, you must be on the Hours screen to add time. If you were not able to clock in or out for your shift, you could enter a manual entry on an exceptions basis if permitted in your program. Scroll on the calendar to select the day you need to add time. Tap Add Time. Select the member you cared for and select the service you provided. On the Enter Time screen, tap to enter Start Time. Scroll to select your exact start time, including AM or PM. Tap Done. Next, tap to enter End Time. Scroll to select your exact end time, including AM or PM. Tap Done. If your program needs you to enter activities or tasks for the service you're providing, you can add that here. Select the activities you performed during the shift. If you performed more than one, select each one. Tap the back arrow in the upper left to return to your entry. The tasks you selected will be displayed. Next, tap on Notes. Type any notes you want to record for this shift and select Done. Tap on the back arrow in the upper left to return to your entry. If your program requires it, you will need to check an attestation box before submitting your entry. 
Once everything is complete, submit your entry by tapping the Submit button. Tapping the Submit button sends a notification to your member to review and approve your entry. Your completed entry displays on your calendar. In this segment, members will learn how to review and approve time. You will receive a notification on your device when your provider submits a time entry for review. First, log in to Time for Care. Then tap the right arrow next to the provider name if you need to review time for a different provider. Tap the provider name. Tap the arrows next to the dates if you need to review time for a different pay period. Entries that still need your review will show a status of needs approval. Tap an entry to view additional details about that shift. Mark the checkbox to the left of each entry that you wish to approve. You can select one at a time or more than one. Tap Approve Selected. On the confirmation message, tap Yes Approve. Tap OK. The entry now shows a green check mark indicating that it is approved.